hanging, Johnny. Watch him, bro. Hey there. Come on now, watch it. Sorry about that. I'm here. What can I do you for, Congressman? Oh, listen, Clements. The taxpayer is picking up the bill for this call, so I'm going to make it brief. The amount of help I need from a man with your skills has tripled in volume, and that's a conservative estimate. If you're interested in helping me out with this, you can call me, and I'll tell you what I need. The pay will be more than adequate. Once you go down the dark path, it just keeps going, don't it, Stubbs? I'll call if I feel the need to keep you in the lifestyle to which you're accustomed. Billy, I just don't see how we have a choice, man. I have a choice. I'm free. I'm not a slave. I have a choice. Jim, I love you, man, but since you've hit middle age, you really lost something. Yeah, and since you've fucking been strung out on this shit, you've lost something. You fucking mind. Easy, Jim. Look who the fuck you're speaking to, huh? Hey. What's up? I'm just trying to explain to our friend here that possession is nine-tenths of the law. We should make the slopes pay us back. Billy, I got Chad on the phone. Pay us back for what? Look, we have a business opportunity here, Johnny. You think a guy like you should be pleased? Yeah, but Jim says there's some problem. There is. That H we stole. It belonged to the Chinese. The deadbeats told them we got it and they want it back. So? Fuck them. Finally! Billy, Chad's on the phone about the meeting. Look, normally I'd be down for that, but these aren't the type of dudes you just say fuck them to. There's some heavily armed, pissed off motherfuckers who killed a couple of angels when they found out this shit was gone. Now I'm thinking maybe we could strike up a deal with them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why don't you just suck them off while you're at it? <laughs> and tell Chad I'm sober as can be over here! That's what I Look, told him! Look, I just think that given this war we're back into with the Angels of Death, and given the fact that one or possibly two government agencies are looking into our shit, that offloading the heroin would be a good idea, all right? And looking for a fight is the wrong thing to do right now, given the fact that we can't even stop fighting amongst ourselves! Yeah, you're right. We should probably all get in a circle, hold hands, pray, sing kumbaya. Kumbaya! <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this ain't no joking matter, Billy. We'll either end up dead in the ground or back in the lockup with you. I ain't going back there. I'd rather be dead. Damn straight. Well, you don't have to do either, man. I just think that getting rid of that stuff now is the right thing to do. Okay. You're not. 
not as big as those days when you hit the roids either, William. <laughs> My arms might not be, but there's other parts that are a lot bigger now that I'm off the drugs. Just ask Ashley. Shit, Billy. You're the fucking man, huh? How about you beat us brothers in a race just to prove it? It was a pleasure beating you, gentlemen. Since you two were both so vocal in your support of this deal, you two are going to be the ones to hand over the brown to the slopes. What? What are you and your boy here going to be doing? We are going to watch your backs, because unlike this fat man here, I just don't trust those little yellow bastards. Good luck. Hey, they don't need luck. We're looking out for them. <laughs> this better be cool, man. So, Johnny, this is, uh... Mm. Okay. We gonna be cool and do this thing? So let me get this straight. You are here to sell us back our heroin. The heroin my cousin sweated over in order to bring to this country only to have it stolen. Look, man, we can do business or go to war. It's your call. In this country, they seem to be the same thing, you stupid pieces of shit! Fuck you! Getting out ain't gonna be easy! Where's fucking Bill? Fucking die! No way. Fight me! Let's end this!
fucking faces! Jesus, that was heavy, man. Fuck it. What was Billy's fucking problem? <laughs> Nothing wrong with him, buddy. You two want us to end up all dead? Man, Billy was right about you. I knew you were a rat. Now he's gone, man. He ain't gone, Brian. He's gone to prison. He's not dead. You ratted him out. You ratted him out. No, I didn't. He nearly got me fucking killed. You set us up. You always wanted to be the one, the man. You're a gimp, John. You're gimping a fucking Judas. What the fuck are you talking about, you ass-kissing little weasel? Hey, Brian! Johnny's not like that, man. Jim, you're wrong, man. I know you're a good guy, but this two prick, he fucked us over, man. He set us up and he called the cops. And you know why? Because they're putting heat on him. They saw him and they've been calling him. I know, because they did the same to me. And they told me you ratted us out. You keep talking like that, you are dead, my little friend. Hey, fuck you, man. What? You sent Billy to jail, huh? Show us your phone. Prove you ain't been speaking to the law. I don't prove shit to you, and I didn't talk to no one. Fuck it. Come on! 
You stay away from us, you hear? Jim, I guess I gotta take over as chapter president now. When people hear about Billy going down, there's gonna be more pressure on us than ever. We gotta get through it. Brothers for life, man. Lost forever. I'll see you soon. Just an American. I like an American bike. Yeah, I understand. You older, Grandpa, so you like a more sedate ride. Some older, mature <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> give me that. I give you mature <laughs> shit, Malk. <Yeah>. Hey. <laughs> Ew, who that? Malk. Deshaun Johnny, brother of mine. All right. Hey. What's up? Malk's got us a connection, Johnny. I'm good, man. I don't need one of them hair dryers. Oh, oh yeah? You sure now? No, no. <laughs> Some serious hardware. Mox got us a connection that ain't got nothing to do with bikes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, explosives. That's right. Okay. With this, we could take the Angels of Death out of business for a long, long time. Oh, you think? With that, it looks like we could take the whole fucking town out of business. Motherfucking <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you down? Oh, man, you gotta ask a question like that? Looks like you're going senile or something, man. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> Yo, you fools have fun, but remember this. You get in any trouble, you ain't meet me. Malk, I don't know where you got that shit, man, but one thing's for sure, we will have fun. All right, play nice. Peace, son. Later, Malk. Peace. Later.
of death! This is it! my man. Those deadbeats ain't a problem, and you introduced me to your new friends. Yeah, Malcolm to Sean, a good guy. No bullshit, apart from the hair dryers they ride. Seriously, man, you should start using the brothers more now that you're in charge. Give Terry a clear call if you ever need some help on club business. Might even do them some good to get off their asses later on. comes the big man. Gentlemen. Hey. Hey, and Johnny. Hey, what's your plan? We spoke to that fat fuck Brian. He wants to sit down and call a truce. 
Brian wants a truce? Yeah. Fuck that. Let's go get him. That's what I thought you'd All say. Right, let's do it. Boys, how are you both? Tweedledum and Tweedle fucking dumb. Fuck you. Billy was always good to you and you ratted him out. Billy's a one-way SOB and he don't give a shit about the bros. No, uh-uh. Yeah, you think Billy'd stick his neck out for you? You're dumber than I thought. You did it, you did it. You did it, you did it. I knew you'd say that. Just knew you'd say that. You're so predictable. Well, Johnny Little Dickowitz. What a baby. And your babysitter Billy's on the inside now, so it's bedtime for you, motherfucker. That's your call, Get the boy. fuck out of town. That's your call, you boy. You're the one taking a nap. Put these assholes in the ground, brothers.
Looks like we're about all that's left of the Alderney chapter, man. We don't need numbers, man. We need brothers. And that's what we got left. You, me, Angus, Terry, Clay, brothers. You're right about that. Shit. I wish we pinned down Brian. That little weasel. He'll turn up soon enough. Yeah. Maybe. See you soon, brother. Gentlemen, Johnny, you remember Ray, right? Yeah, how you doing? How am I doing? I got the feds all over me, I got a boss who's a paranoid wreck, and I got a guy above me in the food chain with a brain like an overcooked artichoke. <laughs> Things are great. Yeah? Sounds like shit to me, but whatever. So, uh, why are you here? I heard you boys is having a little internal dispute. Yeah, where'd you hear that from? From Ashley. You friends with Ashley? <laughs> Everybody's friends with Ashley, tough guy. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know, she's a good kid and all. A little messed up, but, you know, she needed a friend. Ray told us where Brian is. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Where? And how the hell does he know? All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't go breaking my balls, all right? I talked to Brian a half an hour ago. And listen, I understand where you guys are coming from. And on one hand, I don't give a shit. A bunch of grease monkeys want to have an all-out gangbang be my guest. You're all adults. Sort of. <laughs> but right now, I need calm. Billy's on the inside. I need a steady flow of merchandise. So it's in my interest to see that you boys calm things down. End this little squabble and get back to work. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later, yeah, Ray. Yeah, bye, buddy. So what do you think, Johnny? I think that guy makes my skin crawl. But now that you mention it, so does Brian. And right now, he's our problem. God damn it! Brian was my brother. Yeah, he was, but so were a lot of people. I don't feel like that shit means too much anymore. So? So I'm gonna go pay Brian a visit and see just what that fat fucker's problem is. See you all later.
I mean, I wouldn't want to be in prison or anything, but I, you know, I, I take it. Fucking Johnny the Rat. How's my brother Brian? He's held up tight in his safe house. You want to come over here to help me get him out? All right, man. All right. We can wait out back for him. All you gotta do is scare him out here into our arms. Can you do that? Let's see. We're gonna go around back, flush him out, yeah? You all right, boys? Stay strong, brothers! Hey! Wait up! All right there, fellas! Johnny's here! Brian! Johnny's here! Oh shit! Harry! Get him! Take him out, Johnny! You rip this gang apart, assholes! Show your fucking face! How's my brother Brian? He's held up tight in his safe house. You want to come over here to help me get him out? All right, man. All right. We can wait out back for him. All you gotta do is scare him out here into our arms. Can you do that? Let's see. I'm gonna wait for our brother around back with Quay. Send him out to us, will ya? Make sure the right people died today, boys. Way to hell, my brother. Be about that little fucker pulling nothing. Good to know. I'll stop looking over my shoulder. Well, until Billy gets out of prison, at least. Stay in touch.
Warriors needed some backup, man. Uh, there's no way I can do it right now. I'm sorry, Johnny. You know, Chico, hold up. Where do you think you're going, man? You gotta hold up Johnny, to him. I'm talking to you, all right? Back off of him, you stupid shit. Can't you tell the difference between an arc and one of my upstanding business associates? I'm sorry about Andreas here. It's impossible to find good help in this city. I'm supposed Don't to worry about it. You, okay? Hey, yo. Uh, what up, Johnny boy? Job. What up? Talk to your girl. Let's make it happen, Captain. I didn't think you lost bikers got down with peoples like Mark here. Then with their sports bike, you with your choppers. <laughs> and looking at the two of you, it don't make no sense to me. It's a crazy city. Well, this is crazy times, Liz. And there's a recession going on. And in this troubling economic climate, you gotta make compromises. Mark here is my compromise. Hey, yo, fuck you, clown. <laughs> you can compromise these nuts. Shit. Give me some. These ain't troubling <laughs> times for us. Yeah. People always gonna want what we got to sell. Mm -hmm. Hell, they gonna want even more products when they lose their jobs and ain't got nothing else. Okay, I guess all we gotta worry about is the cops taking us down there. True that, cat. Hey, yo, E, let them know what it is. You gotta take some thieving, snitching motherfuckers and show them I'm a bitch. But I ain't they fucking bitch, okay? They bribed the guard on the Eastboro Bridge to let them through without checking their loan, right? You guys is gonna go down there and tear them apart. Auntie and Day? Uh, it is. Now get the fuck out of here! We right. out! We out. Okay, Ma. Avanza, cabrones. Que? Let's go. Bus? Okay, fucking Uncle parade. Trame, una fucking criada, fucking Andreas! Watch your mouth, son. Make fuck yourself you. useful and clean this uh, shit up! Okay, okay, but you know what? I'm gonna need some wrong gloves. I'm gonna be honest, okay? Because I got... I... We best use a car here, brother. Come on. Malk, man, get one of your boys to bring our wheels to the drop-off. All right, now, try not to do too much damage with this here, all right? Take us to the bridge, Johnny boy! Oh, shit! What was all this shit with you dissing me in front of Elizabeth, man? I thought you could handle it. I can't handle, motherfucker. She's just one cold female, and I don't want her thinking I'm a bitch. Then I guess you got to prove yourself. No pressure, man. Go fuck yourself, Johnny! You have arrived. This is one serious gun, amigo. This what they call a street sweeper? That's about accurate for this shit. I'm gonna take care of this. We're gonna get through this. Yeah, it's okay. Kidding. What's free. the problem? You're holding traffic up. What's the hey, problem? Hey, we're kind of in a rush here, okay? Honey, listen to me, man. You gotta get out of the way. You're holding up traffic. Good thing that little family didn't come through here five minutes later. These guys ain't gonna know what hit them. We just need the shipment, okay?
Give up that van now! Screw you! Give up the van! Johnny, we got a lock up there. So, Malcolm, I got a question for you. Sure thing, Jonathan. Shoot. Well, Malcolm, it's your crew, the Uptown Riders. Are you uh, a motorcycle club like us in the Angels of Death? I don't know. I mean, we ride bikes, we ride them hard, but the thing is, we don't wear fancy dresses or do pinky finger shakes or anything like that, so I ain't sure what that makes us. We're adults here, Malcolm. Allegedly, Johnny boy. Allegedly. So let's not let this descend into an argument about the merits of good American machinery versus foreign plastic fantastic crap. Or why you guys look like rejects from a bondage club. Or why you guys dress like the Republican Space Rangers. Ouch! Anyway, what I'm asking is, what's the deal with this music you put out and the branded clothing and shit? It's just part of our vibe, man. Roll with it. Five. Yeah, man, the vibe is how we do it, you know, we complete something like you guys used to be back in about, what, 63 or something? Completely fucking lost, if you ask me. We've still got heart, man. The lost MC are still here. We just don't get on me TV and scream about it. Yeah, sure you are. Whatever you say, Johnny boy. That's a fine little nest egg to get us through a low point in these here global markets, baby. Sure, Malp. I'm just hoping you, me, and Liz can stay out of jail long enough to enjoy it later on. I did, and it handled like a piece of shit. I dumped it in the lockup you mentioned, if you're interested. Not in the van, baby. But maybe I'm interested in what's in the back of it. I'll send Andreas to check it out. See you soon.
stuff about baseball players on roids? It's bullshit. Damn well, better John, believe. How you doing, man? Did you get a manicure? Hey, just keep talking. You fucking want something? Hope you got insurance.